So today uh, we're going to look at an internet tablet. It's the Mid X5A. I bought this because obviously, like everybody in the world, I want an iPad, but I can't afford an iPad, so I bought this instead. Um, so it comes with a charger, which was crap, basically. So I had to sell it a bit. Plus, it's for a country I don't live in, so I've had to get an adapter as well. But I'm pretty sure, I told you in the bottom, uh, you can't see, DC in 9 volts. Let's have a look at the unit then. Um, black, plastic back, room for an SD card there, power switch, um, power cable, headphone cable, HDMI cable, uh, some kind of dock, and also one that plugs into your computer. Yet, I've never had it on my computer, and only today have <laughs> I worked out how to do the bloody HDMI, it's a bit fiddly. So, this is the tablet, as you can see, all well, looks pretty smart. You can use your finger, but it's a bit, as you can see, <clears throat> temperamental. As in, not working at all, temperamental. So your best bet's to use the... Here the pen it comes with, which of course I don't have to hand, which is fantastic. So we're going to get the pen. <laughs> uh, we'll be out in the night. That's what they say. Actually, handy actually because it comes in this box. Use a manual. Useless. It is in English, but it, if you know anything about using Android, it just didn't tell you. It just says what it says on the screen actually. Output select, and this is the output select, that's useless. Comes with uh, headphones, uh, adapter for USB, that might be handy with something else, and a small USB to a big USB. Comes in this leverette case, which, uh, which is quite good actually. It makes it a bit bulky, but at least you know it's safe. Uh, held on by four screws. Which I just took off to have a look. Come for this pen. That's what we wanted. So it's a touch resistant screen as opposed to one you'll find on your smartphone, uh, which you can just simply use your finger. That uh, should work. Let's try YouTube. Speed wise, it's slow. But I think what you have to remember is when you, you purchase something like this, is the fact is it's um, you know hundred pound as opposed to an iPad, which obviously costs uh, four hundred pound for the basic model. It's nice and sturdy. Um, the charging is a bit vague. Sometimes it seems to be charging, sometimes it doesn't. This is a nice video of a blank screen. There's either a faulty video or a faulty tablet, either of which is probably possible. Let's try a different one. Horrible bosses trailer. Oh, it's in HD allegedly. Loading video. There you go. Another blank screen. Clever. You can hear it. If you like to hear videos. I wonder why that doesn't work. <clears throat> so you can download applications. It comes with the Android store. Uh, Sky. No. Use Ben. What's this? It'll keep you entertained once you're trying to work out if it's broken or if it's just crap. Just, oh, sorry, you must accept the turn. Try BBC. Pan. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> 
finger. I don't know if this is a video or just the website is opening now. Oh, it's just the website. So it does have pinch and zoom. Which obviously works. Crap. Well, that does actually work. You can just use the usual. So I hope you get a good review here. Uh, I did, it's crap. <laughs> it's just, I don't know, what do you expect for your money? I think that's your biggest problem. So, take it off charge. I'll take it into the kitchen. Now, as I did say, it does come with a HDMI cable and also the lead. Also has a positioning sensor. So if you uh, turn it around, it quickly. Use the word lightly, quickly, spins around also. So I need a TV. Mm -hmm. And the cable. The cable will simply plug into the side. You can see nothing on the TV. Plugs into the side, as you can see. There's a the tablet, and there's it on the big screen. So, I don't really understand why it didn't work. The YouTube does work. So, we'll try Sky News. So, we'll just pick that one. And we'll try clicking that one. In conjunction, it makes quite a interactive TV. What, like I say, when it when it works, it's fantastic. It's just when it doesn't work. So as you can see there, there's no image on my screen. <clears throat> now I fear if I run YouTube. It will come up on the screen, and that's probably, well, it's almost certainly just because of how I've set it up to work with my TV. I'll just try on that to make sure. I'll give you bogus advice. Loading video. Yeah. Sound obviously comes out of there as well. Oh, that's quite impressive. Then. So what's it like on the web, you're probably thinking? You can also try and get your price as well. Yeah, that's quite good. <laughs> it's quite I'll get one myself. Uh, so, mid, um, I, D, X. See, this is what happens sometimes. It just... Skips now. It could have been because I was being greedy by not using this. So we'll try and use the proper tool. Mid. No. It just. It's so close to being good. And then it goes and spoils it all by just not being good. It just drives you mad because you're trying to use it and trying to get uh, like uh, see how good things are. So that's some US drivers there. You've not done. I'm still not pinching. So. There's a second hand one in Wolverhampton, if everybody's interested. So, it seems like a crap review, you're probably thinking, but it's, it's an honest review. So what do we, what's, what, what do we summarise then? We summarise that it's, it's good, and it's fun to use. As you can 
we'll see there. But don't kid yourself, it's an iPad. I think that's the crucial thing to say. Don't kid yourself, it's an iPad. It's not an iPad, it's something completely, it's not even a bloody Android tablet, I don't know what, just an annoying piece of tooling. Whether you could spend more time to get it working properly, who knows. But I've had it now for ages actually, and I stopped using it because it just got me frustrated. And then sometimes the more I use it, the more I start to think, hmm, maybe it's not too bad actually. Which just gets your nerves and you try and play like Angry Birds. This is a cool feature because obviously Angry Birds is a fantastic game which only you can play on a smartphone. So it does give you the chance to play Angry Birds on a TV. Now this is only a small TV, but in my front room we've got a 60 inch TV. Uh, I wonder what it looks like on that. That's a good idea. You don't play Angry Birds before, it's absolutely fantastic. Oh, let's have a look. Where's the cable? Do 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 I wonder if this is going to be probably the biggest ever angry bird. But it is. That's the world's biggest angry bird, possibly. Oh, there we go, it's worth, it's worth every single penny now, isn't it? Look at the size of that! Well, I'll take it all back, it's worth every single penny. There we go. So, to summarise, I think if you worked on it, it would be a lot better. Fine tuning. This is fantastic though. You made me happy anyway. Sixty inch Angry Birds. Fantastic. Well thanks for watching my review. Uh, best crack on with this. Right, thanks now. Bye!